YouTube Nation, Main Event TV, aka Me TV, aka The Sunset Liquid, aka I can't control my only level. Y'all see you, Chris Hansen. I see you. All right, look, today's show is brought to you by Adidas Shoe Deodorizer. If you've been out balling and when you come home and your shoes smell like feet, I should not tell you. Hit it with the phone, man. Hit it with the phone. All right, look. If I got to walk into your room, you invite me in your house and I walk into your room, and then you know it smells, and it's not like one of those, oh, that, that, that kind of stinks. What's that? No, and it's, God damn, what the fuck? Hit it with the phone. I can't tell you this anymore. Look, if you're walking around here in those little skinny, them tight-ass jeans and these little fucking flip-flops, and you got no shoes on, and your feet look like they got fungus on them because you don't have no, no deodorizer, so your, your, your toes is black and shit, hit it with the phone. You ain't getting no play like that. All right, look. Anyways, before I start, shout-outs to the new subscribers. I've been getting an influx of subscribers uh, for the last couple days. Obviously, you like what, I, what you see. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Roll with me. All right, now look. Today... This is a request from PSN user uh, Old Dirty Side, Old Old Dirty Side, or some shit like that. I don't know. No disrespect to you, I forgot the name, but I am doing this video for you because you requested it, man. All right. Anyways, today I want to talk about the difference in sneakers when you're playing sports. All right. This every athlete should notice, and I'm sure all of you at home can relate to this. All right. How many times have you ever rolled your ankle? Or you twisted, or you fractured, or you broke it because some fucking idiot, when you go up for a rebound, or you dunking or something, and he stands right under you, and when you come down, you land right on his foot and roll it. Can't tell you how many times that's happened, alright? But, what you need to do is get you some good performance sneakers. This is how it works. Now, I went to Adidas the other day, and I got me two pairs for 60 bucks, alright? Quality, alright? Not none of the cheap shit, alright? So, I want to show you all the difference in between today. This shoe right here. This, as you can see, is a quality basketball shoe. Now, I want to explain to you guys, all right? High ankle support. See this? I'm a little suspect on the, uh, on the tongue, even though it's kind of mesh. It still has some hold to it. Everybody should know that when you're looking for a basketball shoe, the tongue should be kind of stiff, all right, because you want that ankle support when you're going forward. This shoe gives you a lot of balance, all right? A lot of balance. It has a lot, as you can see, I'll show you the inside. It has a small arch support for brothers like me. I'm kind of flat-footed, so if I have a high arch, it's going to hurt my feet when I play. All right, so it gives you a little bit of arch support, which is good. And if you notice, the width of the shoe, going wide, it gives you support on the outside of the ankle. All right, so if you roll it, actually, or up in here, you'll be fine. Now, here's the difference in what I'm trying to show you. I'll show you a different shoe. This shoe, all right, even though it has high ankle support, the mesh on the tongue, very flimsy. This shoe is not made for making cuts or crosses or anything. This is the type of shoe, because of the angle, it has a little arch, but it has a wider outside, all right? This is meant for going straight, making straight routes, running forward and backpedaling because of the fact that it has such a wide, uh, wide position stance, all right? Now look, to tell y'all the truth, I'm a little tired today because I've been out for like four hours uh, doing uh, shooting drills, all right? And it's like 90 degrees out, and I'm a little tired. Now, before y'all even, you know, before some genius comes in here and says, but event, you're wearing a hoodie. Why are you out there? But look, let me tell you something, all right? I'm wearing a hoodie when I'm out there shooting because I'm trying, you know, not only am I cutting weight, but I'm also testing endurance, all right? When you play in heat and you have layers on and carrying on, you're testing endurance. Now, as you can see, I'm not a fat dude. I'm really in shape. But it's always good to test your endurance. It's the same, it's the equivalent of a person going to Denver and training up in the mountains and then coming down and then doing their thing. And you notice they can breathe better. They're conditioning better. It's the same thing. Now, with that being said, both of these shoes, like I said before, both of these shoes are good shoes. However, I would not use them for certain, you know, certain types of play. If I know my job is going to be running and cutting, not even really cuts to the hole, but straight and backing up, backpedaling, I'm using this shoe. For an all-purpose shoe, I'm using this shoe. Has a lot of support. And guess what? This shoe, I didn't even have to break in. Didn't even have to break in. So it just goes to show you that. Now, with that also being said, let me also talk about, uh, once again, this shoe one more time. Show y'all one more time. Adidas, I'm not, look, 
I'm not very sold on Adidas shoes. This is the first time I've actually worn an Adidas shoe. I usually wear a Nike shoe, more like a Zoom with a spring to it, so it gives you cushion for when you're coming down and up. It actually helps you on your jump. Not give you an advantage, but the pressure coming down so it doesn't take as much on your knees, okay? And your, uh, your ankles and your shin. You really don't want to get into that when you're playing all day. See, when we go out and play all day, we don't just play for like an hour or two. We, we out. When we all day, we all day. So you want to be as comfortable as possible. All right? Now, a lot of people also have been asking me on PSN about, you know, what to do to recover after uh, playing a game. Now, if you notice, when you play a game, I'm not five minutes. I'm good. When, when, when you play a game and you notice you have all the dry sweat and everything around you and everything, the best way to recover from that, once you get home, I'm a, now, hear me out. Best way to recover from that, of course, is to drink water. Don't fall into that Gatorade bullshit. It, all it is is giving you sugar. It don't give you the preservatives you need. Look, drink water and eat pickles. Yes, pickles. Why? Because all that sweat, that dried up sweat that you see on your head when you're done playing, that's salt leaving your body. When you eat a pickle, you're, in, you're putting back that salt immediately into your body. Now, with that being said... If you don't like pickles, I would suggest that you're going for a meal, I would suggest hit up Chinese food. Chicken and broccoli. Now, there's a lot of sodium in it, but it's really good for you due to the fact the sauce isn't really too good for you. But if you're conditioned enough, you can maintain that. Um, but the broccoli helps clean you out, and the chicken, of course, poultry, y'all know how it goes. So, with that being said, that's two ways of getting around it. I personally, like I said, I really go mostly the pickle route because it's really not that much. You're not really much in the red with it. All right. It's healthy for you. You're maintaining your salt back. You're getting it back just like that. It doesn't take long. So, and before I'm telling y'all now, but when you get in, when you get in from playing basketball, get your water first and go take a shower. Don't nobody want to smell your funky ass eating pickles all day, sitting down, sweating all over the place, all over the furniture. All right, ballers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't do this. All right. So with that being said, that is for today. Like I said, I want to thank all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, the haters. Get back at me, y'all. YouTube, let me know what's going on. Going on. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out.